Yo what's up guys this is Aprix here welcome back to another video today i'll be telling you all the latest updates and good news related to beta 3k android 4 let's start off by talking about what you guys are seeing right now on the screen these are going to be official control layout for the beta 3k android 4 previously they were using some temporary controls but this right here which you see is going to be uh, the official controls honestly it looks pretty cool and let me give you guys a good news that beta 3k android 4 will be releasing within the next few days or by the end of the next week because the developer has finished working on almost everything the only part that is pending is to release builds of Vita 3k android on their official github page as you know Vita 3k is an open source project so it's going to be really easy to uh, install and set up Vita 3k android and all this information is coming from the official main developer of Vita 3k android port the testing of the simulator has already started and he plans to release the first build of Vita 3k android within a week or so and i honestly can't wait any longer because it's really hype to see a brand new emulator for android devices that too it took very less time like just about six months or so now that it's time for official release we can conclude that the wait is over boys and as soon as the emulator is released uh, on github i'll upload a video on how to set up and play vita 3k emulator on your android devices we'll show you guys the gameplay best settings and much more so be sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification if you haven't already and as it's going to be officially released very soon i have some assumptions on the minimum requirements as well so I think you will need minimum 4 to 6 GB of RAM to run this Vita 3K Android port on your mobile devices and I do believe that it will be Android 8.0 or above or Android 10.0 or above. These minimum requirements are not given by developer. There is no yet announcement on that. Uh, these are just my assumptions. But as PS Vita is an old console, I don't think it will take much for much device requirements. And if we are talking about processor wise, then anything above Snapdragon 720 processor should be good enough in my opinion for at least uh, 30 fps gameplay depending on the games. In my opinion, again, we'll do some in-depth testing as soon as the emulator is released on GitHub. And after you guys test it on your Mali GPU devices, we'll get to see more information about uh, how well does it work on android other than that i think uncharted is going to be the favorite game which people would want to emulate on their android devices and i do believe that it will be first time ever to see an uncharted game running on an android device it's going to be really cool guys the hype is real be sure to turn on all notifications so you don't miss out any more updates on vita 3k android port and i do believe that uh, the emulator should be close to staple because the developer said and mentioned previously that he would only release emulator after it's at least playable with many titles so yeah see you guys tomorrow thanks for watching stay tuned goodbye